le pasó a Luis Andrés. In this episode of Planet Insomnia Mystery Channel, we will examine what led to this tragedy and what Netflix got right about the case. What started as a fun Halloween night of partying with friends ended in tragedy and became one of the most controversial murder cases in Colombia. This story recently became a Netflix series titled Crime Diaries, Night Out. Was the death of Luis Andres Colmenares a tragic accident or a vicious murder? Was there a cover-up by police to protect affluent students? These are some of the questions we will try and answer in this episode. Halloween Night On October 30, 2010, Luis Andres went to a Halloween costume party at a nightclub in the popular Zona Rosa in Bogota with his date, Laura Moreno, as well as Jesse Quintero, and several other friends and classmates. According to the two girls, Moreno and Quintero, they left the party around 3.15 a.m. Luis was allegedly very anxious and he left the club and went outside. Jesse and Laura said they followed him and that Luis claimed he was hungry, so the three of them went to eat while the rest of the group got Laura's SUV from the parking lot. Moreno and Quintero later told law enforcement that, after buying a hot dog, all of a sudden Colmenares started to run like crazy towards El Viri Park, which was about 10 minutes walking distance from the hot dog stand. Jesse Quintero allegedly stayed at the hot dog stand waiting for her friends, while Laura Moreno followed Luis. According to Laura, after she tried to stop him several times, Luis jumped into a drain located at El Viri Park. She also said he fell probably because it was dark and didn't see the ditch. Jesse said that Laura was frantic and told her that Luis jumped into the water channel, which was less than 50 centimeters deep or 19.6 inches, and that she was unable to see him anymore. Supposedly, the group of friends met Laura at the park and started looking for Luis. After a couple of hours of searching and not finding him, they asked the police for help. They also alerted Luis' family and a formal search began. Oneida Escobar, Luis Andres' mother, went to the park to look for her son at 6 a.m. after Laura and Jesse called Luis' brother. She initially started looking in hospitals and police stations. In the meantime, the police and firemen were conducting an exhaustive search around the area without any results. Around 6 p.m. on October 31, 2010, Oneida Escobar begged the firemen and police officer to search again in the ditch, where they believed Luis had fallen. The firemen did another search throughout the ditch, the banks of the ditch and in the tunnel that the ditch went through, but they did not find Luis. The next day when the firemen searched again, they found the dead body of Colmenares about 400 feet away from where Moreno said Luis had jumped. The body was taken to the Colombian National Legal Medicine Institute for further evaluation. The result of the first autopsy showed Colmenares had a grade 3 of alcohol intoxication, which would have strongly impaired him and confirmed the accidental death hypothesis. Under this theory, the case was closed. However, the Colmenares family never accepted that theory. According to the autopsy performed at Instituto National Institute of Legal Medicine, Luis Colmenares suffered a violent death. A second autopsy by Maximo Duque, former director of the same institute, hired by the Colmenares family and research done by prosecutor Antonio Gonzalez concluded that the body had eight wounds, none compatible with the fall. Arrests. In October 2011, Laura Moreno and Jesse Quintero were arrested, accused of perjury and covering a crime. According to the prosecutor's office, there is strong evidence that allowed them to infer that these two young women participated in the murder of Luis Andres Colmenares. In June 2012, Carlos Cardenas was charged with Luis Colmenares' murder and detained after several witnesses declared that they had seen Carlos attack Luis Colmenares. Carlos was the ex-boyfriend of Laura Moreno and prosecutors tried to make the case that Carlos killed Luis in a moment of jealous rage. Gonzalez, the prosecutor, also alleged that the affluent students, Laura, Jesse and Carlos conspired to kill or cover up the murder of Luis Colmenares, who was black and, according to the prosecutor, not in the same social status by his classmate friends. The trial. The hypothesis that the prosecutor's office claimed throughout the process was that Luis Andres Colmenares was attacked while he was defenseless due to his high degree of intoxication. The cause of the possible fight, according to the prosecution, was his close relationship with Laura Moreno, ex-girlfriend of Carlos Cardenas, accused of murder. 
This theory stated that Luis Colmenares was beaten to death by Carlos with a bottle. The witnesses that testified that Carlos Cardenas was the murderer were later dismissed in the case after they proved to be unreliable and could not verify their presence at the crime scene. Carlos was later set free and absolved of all charges. After the scandal with the false witnesses, Gonzalez, the prosecutor resigned from the case. Gonzalez alleged that higher powers and corruption were involved in destroying his case. In the case of Laura Moreno and Jesse Quintero on February 20, 2017, the judge absolved them of all responsibility for the death of Colmenares. Moreno was investigated for improper co-authorship of a homicide, while Quintero, for false testimony and cover-up of murder. The defense was able to poke holes in the theory of the prosecution, primarily that body of Luis Colmenares had been moved, and later placed in the tunnel where it was found. Apparently the firefighters involved in the search did not see the body the first time, because it was hidden from sight because it was caught in a crevice in the tunnel. False Witnesses On October 22, 2013, in an interview with RCN News, Wilmer Iola confessed he had been paid to provide false testimony in support of the prosecutor's murder theory. According to Iola, he had been paid by the father of the Luis Andres Colmenares. He also implicated the former prosecutor, Antonio Gonzalez, as participant in the complot of multiple false witnesses. Many people paid for this, friends of Gonzalez, friends of the Colmenares family. Every witness was on the payroll. To this day, the only persons who have served any time in prison for this case have been the false witnesses. Jesus Alberto Martinez was sentenced to seven years. Jose Wilmer Iola was sentenced to eight years of home detention and Jonathan Martinez was sentenced to six years for crimes of fraudulent testimony. The Netflix series. Crime Diaries, Night Out, Spanish, Historia de Un Crimen Colmenares, is a Colombian-Mexican-Spanish-language crime miniseries. It was released on Netflix on May 3, 2019. The premise revolves around a student Luis Andres Colmenares is found dead in a park in the north of Bogota, after a Halloween party on October 31, 2010. The series has been criticized for capitalizing on the tragic death of Luis Andres Colmenares and reopening old wounds for the family. However, the series does slant the story in favor of the theory that Luis Andres was murdered and that is what the family alleges to this day. In our opinion, the facts do suggest that there is more to this story than just a tragic accident. The two girls in the case had many inconsistencies and lies in their testimonies and it is very hard to believe that the trauma suffered to the body and head of a Luis Colmenares was just from the fall. The facts point in the direction of murder and not an accident, but there was not enough evidence to convict Carlos Contreras of murder or Laura Moreno and Jesse Quintero of involvement and cover-up in the murder. Justice is not always final nor conclusive and sometimes there is no closure for parents who have lost a child. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so, please leave us a comment and like and until next time, try and get some sleep.